hello welcome again so in this video i am showing you the different component parts of a theodolite so just like the dumpy level you have to open this box in this way and after that this is a theodolite so here you can see this thread so this is the thread okay so it will be set on the tripod stand here okay so now i am setting the instrument here so i have already set the instrument on tripod stand and just like dumpy level you can see here this knob so using this knob you can enlarge or reduce or increase or decrease the height of this uh, tripod stand so now i am showing you the different component parts of this theodolite so here you can see this is a plumb of okay now now as like as the dumpy level this is a trivet this is a tri brack and here you can see the foot screw so here also there are three foot screws so one two and this one three so this disc is known as the lower disc whereas this one is the upper disc here you can see the it is written as a and i say uh, this one is a and in the same way here you can see the b okay here it is b you can see this is b in this way in vertical disc you can take the c as well as the d reading so i'm showing you so this is the eye hole by which you can see the central position of this instrument that means without this plumb of you can center the instrument using this eye hole and next this is the lower fixing screw whereas this is the upper plate fixing screw okay this is tri brack as well as like i mean a dumpy level so this is a precise instrument or slow motion uh, switch using which you can slowly move the instrument left or right okay so here another slow motion is also using this you can move the upper plate left and right so these are the viewfinder you can see the help of this viewfinder it just magnifies the readings here you can see this is a spread bubble it is also known as the plate bubble or horizontal plate bubble okay so here you can see this a like or a shaped this part is known as a standard okay this is standard so this is a transit theodolite because you can move this instrument horizontally 360 degree as well as the telescope in 360 degree so it can rotate through its horizontal axis 360 degree or it can revolve also 360 degree on its vertical axis so here i am showing you this is the focusing screw this big screw is known as the focusing screw as like dumpy label okay so here you can see this is a small screw this is screw it is known as clamp screw now you can see this is a telescope okay here it, it is a telescope and as like as dumpy level this is eyepiece here you can see you can move this part and moving which you can clear the stadia and this is the object glass here you can see the object glass i am just open the cover so i have opened its cover so this is known as the object glass so here you can see this is a bubble exist here and it is known as the altitude bubble so using which you can level the instrument 
and now I am showing the tangent so this is the tangent screw here this one is the tangent screw so using which you can slowly move the I mean uh, telescope you can see here how it moves up or downward side so using this one you can slowly moves the I mean telescope so before using this screw you have to fix the clamp screw first okay and one vertical mirror or adjustable mirror is here so using which one can take the bubbles reading you can see here I am showing you in this way anyone can take the bubbles reading here you can see this part it is known as the index bar or T frame so this is the T frame or index bar and it carries uh, two vernier scale C and D so there are all together uh, four view finders are here one then two then three and this one is four so using this viewfinder you can magnify the readings and here you can see this one and this part actually this and this part is used to target uh, an object so using this I mean point you can target an object easily okay Finally, I am showing you the horizontal axis. Horizontal axis means, are you seeing this line? So, this line is actually represents the horizontal axis. That means, through this, I mean, focusing screw, if you imagine a line that is called the uh, horizontal line, that means this breaking point and this breaking point, if you join these two points, in a line this is called actually horizontal axis whereas the vertical axis mean if you imagine a line through this I mean object glass center of the object glass and the center of this eyepiece and its continuation that mean this vertical line this vertical line actually represents the vertical axis of this instrument so here you can see the vertical circles or vertical disc in the right side it is written as D in the left side the 90 80 70 that mean the main scale left side this left side is actually the main scale whereas in the right side this is actually vernier scale where D is written so whenever you take the reading you have to take the reading just at zero that mean below D you can see the zero so in this point you have to take the reading so this is the vernier as well as the main scale and you can see the same scale exist here also but here the vernier is expressed by C that means this is the C vernier and in the right side it is actually main scale reading and another thing I want to share with you that the vernier constant of this instrument is actually 20 second because you can see just side of 0 20 is written that's why the vernier constant of this instrument is actually 20 second you can see here it is 0 then 5 10 15 20 so maximum sorry uh, minimum reading um, you can take through this instrument is 20 second but it may varies it may 10 15 okay so this instrument is actually 20 second vernier constant so these are the main component parts of a theodolite so in the next video i will show you how to take the reading that means staff reading then how to target the object and how to take a vernier scale reading that mean vertical scale reading and then 
I will show you how to take a horizontal I mean disc reading so hope you like my videos and if it is helpful then you can subscribe my channel